Hi heathens! So this video is going to be like a little, this might be what I name it, I don't really know yet. It's going to be like a little swatch party, kind of. Um, I want to possibly, depends on how I feel once I start swatching, declutter all of my ColourPop Super Shocks. Uh, mine is uh, a few in here that I know I'm keeping and I'll explain as I go. But I went to put up the one that I got in my mystery box the other day. Um, that was the last video I uploaded if you missed that. And realized I have like an entire drawer full of where I keep them. So we're just going to swatch them and decide what's worth keeping. Uh, if any are dried up. Because of, for those of you who do not know... Um, the super shock formula, if you like leave it open, will dry up because it's like this cushiony, almost moussey formula, but still a powder. It's very interesting. So I've got my wipe ready. We are gonna swatch up the arms. I'm gonna try to be able to show you whatever I'm doing. And I have made sure that my nails look pretty because you'll probably be seeing a lot of my hands and fingers and arms. So without further ado, we're gonna get on in. So the first one that I'm gonna swatch is the one that I received in my mystery box, so I know I'm gonna be keeping it. It is the shade Ripple, and as a disclaimer, some of these shades, uh, once we get into them, I have had for a while and may no longer be available, but they may have similar shades, because that seems to be uh, what they do, is when a shade gets discontinued or, you know, whatever they call it, um, another shade that's pretty similar tends to be kind of put into rotation. So on to the next one. We have Fizz, which is this very pretty green shade. And that's another thing about ColourPop. They tend to have, this one feels like it might be dried up. It's kind of there, but it's turned into more of a topper. So I'm going to set that to the side. I'll look online for the ones that I want to keep, like that one, that feel dried up and see if there's like any way to kind of rehydrate them. I don't know if putting setting spray in them is a good idea. I can't show you this one as well in the package. It's called Rex because it's broken. Um, but it's like a really nice deep one. And I think I will be keeping just in case I ever need a deep super shock. And I think it's really fascinating because the Super Shocks are so shimmery that having a deep one like that, usually I use them as toppers. So that one I have to like actually use as a shadow. Um, this one is called Jinxie. This one's a maybe. It's pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's very similar to my skin tone. It's right under um, Rex. Then we have, I don't know if these kind of videos are exciting for y'all, but figured if I'm going to be swatching them all anyway, why not make a video out of it? This one is also a little broken. It's called Coconut. I don't know if I ever finished what I was saying, but ColourPop has a thing for naming things in a way that doesn't quite match the color. Like you might have one, this color, that's blue. It's a little dry as well that's named coconut and you're like why is it named coconut and there's no like particular reason um oh this is one i know i'm keeping as long as it hasn't dried out this was one of their like fourth anniversary special soup special super shocks and it's called birthday wish this is one of my all-time favorite super shocks it's gorgeous i'm gonna swatch it here to the side of the other ones. I don't know if y'all think it's as pretty as I do, but it's definitely one of my all-time favorites because I can just wear any color shadow like around the edge and then tap that on and I'm good to go. Um, this one is called Paradox. You might have to start arm swatching soon. Because I want to try not to necessarily remove any of these. Oh yeah, that one's really dry. Um, so that if any are too similar, I have a visual. 
and so that y'all have a visual as well. Um, this one is called Stereo. You can definitely see some of them have been used a little more than others. Oh, but this one still feels nice and soft. Let's swatch that under that one. That and that and that. I'm going to say that word a lot. Ooh, I said it again. On my finger, I don't know how well it'll pick up on camera. You can see that there's like a bit of like reddish gold reflect within that brown. Very, very pretty. Next, we have Special Delivery. Just kind of like a nice minty kind of color. This one might be salvageable. I've just had some of these for so long. Oh yeah, that one's pretty nice. Again, more of a topper shade or kind of a one and done shade. Then we have Dance Party, which at first glance kind of looks similar to um, Another one I have in here, I can't think of the name of. I'm gonna use my other hand, swatch on my other hand now. Ooh, this one's still nice. And it is gorgeous. So, it's a little lackluster when swatched like that. It's a very pretty shade, but it's one you might have to build up to get to that pure finger swatch pigmentation. Uh, then we have So Quiche. I know I'm going to keep this one as well. I very much like this one. It looks like I've never touched it. But it's gorgeous. Let me put the lid back on it so it doesn't dry out. This one also has glitter in it. A lot of these, um, I don't know how well it'll pick up on camera, but have like a shimmery, glittery reflect. Uh, next one is Six in the City. This one is Busted. So I'm going to try my best to show it to you without dumping the whole thing out. This is another one that I think might be very similar to one that we will see later. But that one, one uh, blah, blah. that was one that, uh, yeah, because it's busted, it swatches a little funny because it skips, but it actually came broken in shipping, which tends to happen. Another thing interesting to note about Super Shocks, I don't think it's happened with any of my shadows, but it's happened with some of my highlighters, is that if they get too hot, they kind of shrink. And since I live in South Carolina, uh, this one is called Bubbly. I forgot to show you, sorry. Um, it has happened before uh, with my Super Shocks in transit. That one's a maybe. I just don't know if I'm going to use it that often. Very pretty. It still works fine. Um, oh, this slipped in. I'll swatch it. It's not a ColourPop. It's an Ace Beauty Glimmer shadow, but they work similarly. And I have some more back there that I guess I can include because... It's the same concept, like it's these little pots that you more or less use your finger in. That's this one swatch down here. Let me go ahead and grab the other ones. They're uh, right back here. So I'm not going to include my Space Case cosmetic ones in this because they get used a little differently when I use them, but I will include my Ace Beauty because they're also what I call finger shadows. So this one by Ace Beauty is Cotton Candy. That first one was French Vanilla. So this one is Cotton Candy. Obviously used more than French Vanilla. This one has like a really cool duochrome-y look. Definitely keeping this one. The only reason the other ones were back there, oh, look at that, is because they actually couldn't fit in this drawer, so might actually help to include them because then I can determine which ones are worth keeping and they can have a home. And then the last one I have from them is Huckleberry. I 
kind of a purpley pink. I feel like I need a taller chair or when I'm doing swatching videos maybe I need to bring this down because I feel like I'm trying to like come up to your level. All right next for ColourPop we have Envy. This is the one that I was saying Dance Party looks similar to. So that was the one swatched here at the top of my hand. But examining them, it looks like it might actually be a little deeper. So I'm actually going to use this finger to swatch it. Oh man, wow, okay. Vibrant. Might swap those out. I'm going to swatch it over my knuckles so it's right above that other shade. Horrible place to swatch, but you kind of get the point. Now, how similar is it to the blackish purple shade on this hand, though? Because those look very similar as well. Hmm. One definitely looks more black with purple, and one's black with pink. So, I've got some decisions to make. Uh, this is a good one as well. This is called Sequin. I mean, all of them are beautiful. It's just a matter of which ones I see myself actually reaching for. That one's stunning. I feel like that would be a good one and done shade. Man, if I go to watch this back and some of these aren't in focus, I'm gonna be so angry. Or like, if they're not even in the frame. Um, this is one that they did with No Kill Los Angeles, and this is in the shade Catitude. More than likely I will keep this one because I've actually used it within the last few weeks. So I know that I'm using it. I'm going to swatch this one down the side of this hand, kind of like I did with the other one. So, so far we have a pretty decent variety. We have a few that are similar, but nothing like... Oh my god, that's the same color. So next we have Party of Five. A little dried out. I'm going to swatch it beside that last one. I'm putting all my ones that feel kind of dried out over to the side. That way I can find out, you know, if I can rehydrate them or if they just need to be tossed. This one is called Running Through the Six. It's more of a matte blue. Very dry. I don't even know if this one's going to swatch. Eh, I mean, it's swatched. How good it is, I don't know, but it's swatched. Uh, next we have... Milky Way. I have quite a number of like pinky purple ones. Ooh, ooh. this one's pretty. I'm going to swatch it across my knuckles again because it kind of gives me vibes. Oh, no, not even close. That one's way pinkier. I was going to say it kind of gives me vibes to the one I received in my mystery box. But one's clearly more like pink and one's more purple. So just kidding. Definitely one I want to keep. Then we have Bouncy. It's kind of like a brown shade. I'm sorry if I've forgotten to show you to show you any in the camera. It's kind of hard to remember when my brain's like on swatching them. That one's a maybe. I love the color. It's just not as punchy. Uh, then we have Lace, which is another purple one, but it looks like it might be kind of dried. Eh. Yeah, that one's like, there's nothing there. I don't even know it's worth if it's worth showing you what that swatch came out to be. And then we have Falling Up. Ooh. Man, 
And this one, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it as well on my arm, but that's gorgeous. Especially if you were to put that in with like some really deep shades, that would be a real winner. Okay. Uh, next we have Liberty. I love this one. I really hope this one hasn't dried out. Might have to start swatching across my wrist. How do I show you that like that? Okay. Oh. Look at how pigmented this silver is. So beautiful. Okay, let's uh, like just, can you just like, oh, there is a lot left on my finger after that one. So that's the thing with these is like sometimes there's a lot left on your finger because your oils kind of like suck it up. Um, next we have Bay, which is yet another bluish purpley kind of shade. It's not super dry, but it's not like as, oops, moussey and creamy as it should be. I'm just going to be a mess this video, I'm like smacking myself in the face. All right, now we have Cosmic Charge. start on my other wrist. Ooh, that one's nice and soft. Seems like there's a little less on my finger from that one than there was with the silver shade. Then we have Telepathy. This is one that I've gotten quite a bit of good use out of. Oh, and it still has plenty of life left in it. Look at this. Holy goodness. All right, let's go. Where's the other one? Ugh. Oh. Now that is a super shock shadow. Still plenty left on my finger, of course, so we're going to wipe her off. But, mm. All right, this is another one from the... Wow, those are not even at all. <laughs> Another one from the No Kill Los Angeles collection. This is Puppuccino. I'm going to go back to the back of my arm because I'm afraid if I swatch up my wrist too much, I'm going to get it all over this dress. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That one's like a really bright, almost coppery orange. I feel like I'd keep that one over uh, Six in the City, which was the kind of broken one. And then last but not least, we have a little quirky. Ooh, that one's nice and soft too. Um. That's a little lackluster under that other one because the other one is like crazy vibrant. But that is it. So we have um, one, two, three, four, five, eight total that might be unsalvageable because they're pretty dry. We have five, sorry, six that are maybes. This one's a maybe because I don't know that it's dried out. Um, because it's still getting a lot on my finger. It's just a different formula than the rest. I've swatched it again here on that horrible spot on my thumb. Can you even see that? Oh, I'm going to pull my shoulder out of place. Um, it's just not the same. And we have saved and are keeping three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can't see. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
finger shadows. So, I'd say all in all, like not the biggest declutter, but I'm narrowing it down. So, cut me a little slack. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like swatch videos and seeing me get a little dirty. I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you have any of these? What is your favorite Super Shock shadow? And if you haven't tried it, what are you waiting for? Go get one. Um, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And subscribe to see more of my content. I will see you guys next time. Bye!